In the previous video, we created a cool honeycomb pattern in Photoshop. In this video, we're going to create a dripping honey text effect using Photoshop and apply a honeycomb background to it. To begin, let's create a new document. Name it. And for this example, we'll use a size of 9020 by 1080. Set the resolution to either 150 or 300 pixels per inch. Use RGB color mode and click Create. Next, add a new empty layer and activate the Type tool. For this example, I'm using the Belinda script font at a text size of 150 pixels, with black as the text color. Type your text on the canvas and click the check mark to confirm. To center the text, activate the Move tool, press Ctrl or Command A to select the entire active layer, then click the Align Horizontal Centers and Align Vertical Centers icons. Press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Make sure you're happy with the text as it won't be changed after this step. Once you're sure, let's move on. Now, convert the text layer to a smart object. With the text layer selected, go to Filter, Noise, Median. In the dialog box, adjust the radius amount until the letters appear thicker and start to stick together. For this example, I set the radius to 5 and clicked OK. Next, go to Filter, Liquify. Adjust the properties to your liking. Use Alt or Option Scroll to zoom in. And start shaping a dripping effect by pulling the text pixels. When you're done, click OK. Activate the Polygonal Lasso tool. Select the dripping parts of the text and press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the selection. Move the copied dripping to another letter. To create more drips, hold ALT or Option while dragging the dripping shape to another letter. Repeat this process until you have the desired number of drips. To resize a dripping shape, select it, press Ctrl or Command T, and drag the size handles. Continue these steps until the dripping text effect looks just right. Now, select the topmost dripping layer, hold Shift, select the last dripping layer, right click, and select Merge Layers. Rename this layer to Drippings and convert it to a smart object. If you want to edit the drips, just go to Filter. Liquify and adjust the shapes. Once you're satisfied, click OK. Hide the layer styles drop down to keep things tidy. Now let's style the text and drips. First, duplicate the text layer. Rename the bottom layer to Text Styles and the top layer to Text Glossy Transparent. Do the same with the Drippings layer. Rename the bottom one to Dripping Styles and the top one to Drippings Glossy Transparent. Move the Styles layers together, select both, and group them. In this example, I named the group Dripping Honey Text Styles, but you can name it whatever you like. Then group the Glossy layers and name that group Dripping Honey Text Glossy. Deactivate the Glossy group for now. Select the Styles group, click the FX icon, and choose Bevel and Emboss. Set the style to Inner Bevel, Technique to Smooth, Depth to 70%, Size to 20, Direction to Up, Angle to 90 degrees, and Altitude to 70 degrees. For the Glass Contour, select Cone Inverted, double-click the Editor, and drag the Curve Axis so the tip is centered. Click OK. Set the highlight mode to linear dodge, add, with 100% opacity, and white for the color. Set the shadow mode to color dodge with 70 to 75% opacity and white.
activate the contour style, set it to Gaussian, and adjust the range to 100%. Next, activate color overlay, set the color to F47C05, and opacity to 100% with the blend mode set to normal. Activate inner shadow, set the color to black, blend mode to divide, opacity to 15%, angle to minus 90 degrees, distance to three, choke to 20, and size to 90. Change the contour to cone and set noise to zero. Now let's activate the inner glow effect. Set the blend mode to multiply and adjust the opacity to 75%. Keep the noise at zero and choose a rich dark color with the code 7B0C00. For the technique, select softer and set the source to edge. Increase the choke to three and the size to 50 for a bold glowing effect. Then change the contour to linear and set the range to 50% with jitter remaining at zero. This will give your text a smooth, subtle inner glow. Activate satin, set the color to white, Blend mode to overlay, opacity to 35%, angle to 90 degrees, distance to 10, and size to 30. Select Sawtooth 1 for the contour and check the invert box. Activate outer glow, set blend mode to multiply, opacity to 20%, noise to zero, color to 662900. Technique to softer, Spread to zero and size to 20. Set contour to linear, range to 50% and jitter to zero. Activate drop shadow. Set the blend mode to multiply, color to black, opacity to 20%, angle to 90 degrees, distance to 10, spread to five, size to five, and contour to linear. Click OK. Deactivate the Styles group and activate the Glossy group. Click the FX icon and select Blending options. Reduce Fill Opacity to 0%. Activate Bevel and Emboss. Set the style to Inner Bevel, Technique to Smooth, Depth to 200%, Direction to Down, Size to 20, and Soften to 0. Set the Angle to 90 degrees, Altitude to 70, and Glass Contour to Cone Inverted. Adjust the Curve Tip to the Center. Set Highlight Mode to Color Dodge with 55% Opacity and White. Set Shadow Mode to Black. Opacity to 0 to 5% and Blend Mode to Normal. Activate the Contour with Gaussian and Range set to 100%. Click OK. You can now reactivate the Styles group for a clearer view of the changes. For the Gloss group, add a Color Overlay. Set the Color to F47C05 Blend mode to saturation and opacity to 100%. Add an inner shadow with the color set to 904400. Blend mode to linear burn. Opacity to 15%, angle to minus 90 degrees, distance to 10, choke to zero, size to 20, and contour to cone. Set noise to zero. Next, add satin, set the color to white, Blend mode to overlay, opacity to 20%, angle to 90 degrees, distance to 45, size to 140, and contour to cove shallow. Check the invert box. For the drop shadow, set the color to 591 to 0,0. Blend mode to normal, opacity to 20%, angle to 90 degrees, distance to 10, spread to 0, size to 25, contour to linear and noise to zero. Click OK. Now let's add bubbles to the honey text. Create a new empty layer and name it Bubble 1. Make sure your foreground color is black. Then activate the ellipse tool and draw a small circle. Press Ctrl or Command T if you want to resize the circle and use the size handles to adjust. Click the FX icon, select Blending Options, and reduce fill opacity to 0%. Add bevel and emboss with style set to inner bevel, technique to smooth, depth to 1000%, direction to up, size to 38, and soften to zero. You might want to place the circle shape onto the honey text for a clearer view.
Now let's go back to its bevel and emboss settings. For shading, set the angle to minus 106 degrees, altitude to 53, gloss contour to linear, highlight mode to linear dodge, add with 30% opacity in white, and shadow mode to black with multiply blend mode and 40% opacity. Add an inner shadow, set the color to black, blend mode to overlay, opacity to 28%, angle to 79 degrees, distance to 7, choke to 0 and size to 0. Set the contour to linear and noise to 0. Activate inner glow, set the color to black, blend mode to linear burn, opacity to 12%, noise to 0, technique to softer, source to edge, choke to 0 and size to 2. For the contour, select linear with a range of 50% and jitter set to 0. Activate satin, set the color to white, Blend mode to overlay, angle to 19 degrees, opacity to 8, distance to 1, size to 21, and contour to cove deep. Check the invert box. Add a drop shadow, set the color to 070406. Blend mode to linear burn, opacity to 32%, angle to 32 degrees, distance to 2, spread to 0, size to 1, contour to linear, and noise to 0. Click OK. To resize or rotate the bubble, press Ctrl or Command T and use the size or rotation handles. Use the Move tool to reposition the bubble as needed. To duplicate a bubble, hold Alt or Option while dragging. Feel free to randomize the sizes of the bubbles using Ctrl or Command T. When you're happy with the bubbles, close all the layer style dropdowns, group them, and name the group Bubbles. Lastly, let's add a background using a pattern preset. Select the background layer, add a solid color, and set it to FEECCC. Click OK. With the color layer still selected, click the FX icon and select Pattern Overlay. You can use any pattern you like, but for this example, I'm using a honeycomb pattern. If you'd like to create a similar pattern, check out our previous video or the link in the description. Set the blend mode to multiply and opacity to 100%. You might also want to experiment by adding other styles like a gradient overlay or even more effects to enhance your design. Now we have our completed dripping honey text effect. You can save the document as a Photoshop file in case you want to come back and make changes. You can also export it as a PNG if you'd like to use it for a web banner or other projects. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more Photoshop tutorials. See you in the next video!